city of Cincinnati at one of the most historic venues in all of college football. Nippert Stadium, home to the Cincinnati Bearcats. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. Bearcats will get us started with the opening kickoff. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. All right, guys, here's our first look at this offense today. And not only is this guy the energy and the engine of the offense, there's a certain charisma that he has that sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. It just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs looking at him and believing in him to lead this offense down the field towards scoring points. This guy is a leader in every sense of the word. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. They're getting this guy lathered up. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. When you go on the road, man, oh, man, you love hearing the crowd. But more importantly, you love shutting the crowd up. There's no better feeling than coming out, getting that juice going, getting that confidence going, and getting that running game going right at them and gashing them right out the gates. Going up top on first down makes his connection just what they were looking for and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions right we just saw a big play in the running game now we see one in the passing game there's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down the rpo fire complete to the left they make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Looking to throw on second down. Just led him a little too far across the sidelines. Makes the catch, but it's incomplete. Uh, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. And it looks as if they buzz down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. He's got it on the run. And it's in there for a touchdown. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, and get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Mack. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So Cincinnati's offense has its first opportunity of the day. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? 
Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The lone back's got it. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. On the run, it's Kiner. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. Stuffed almost in his tracks, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. A strike downfield. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Quickly to the tight end. Just finds that little crevice and he's still up. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. That throw and catch a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. The give to the back. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's Soresby. He finds his man. Touchdown, Bearcats! What a catch and run for six! Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Hey, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. When we see another catch by this guy, this defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Off 
play action on first down. Throws to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. When we were throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. He's going to pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got it. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Fighting off the defender. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays. And they're getting chunks of yardage. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. He's looking to throw right down the middle. It's complete! Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The offense knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into their happy place for a touchdown. And I like the running back's vision. He sees the hole, explodes through it. He knows where the goal line is, gets in the end zone, gets six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David. Just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. A first down for the offense. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Got it to open the quarter with this first down play. They're going to ride this running back. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. On the run, it's Kiner. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. 
and that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. The Bearcats will have it first and ten. They'll give it to the back. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Going to the running game. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Offense working from the pistol. Looking to throw, it's Soresby. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus, and the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. Makes the grab well past the stick. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. That's a great example of a receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking for space, it's Kiner. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run play action. Grab near the sticks. It's Smith. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. And the Bearcats will hustle to the line. They go to the ground. Not a whole lot of room to run. Let's give him a couple. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Back to the ground with the running back. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Looking downfield, it's Soresby. He's got it! And they'll get him down inside the five of this offense, powering for the score. How valuable is a tight end in the red area? Now they're set up with a first and goal. I love it. Find the big fella down in the red area. Big target, works the middle of the field, easier throws. Nice job by this offense, keeping it very simple. They'll run it on first and goal. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. Barges ahead. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown Cincinnati! Up and over Yama will be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the 
the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. The AT unit on the field. Right down the middle. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. It was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Bringing it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Line gets set, first down. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You see all this movement in football now. All the stint, the defensive line, they're sliding right before the snap. Creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Solid gain to get him out close to the 20. Pick up a 5 to the 19. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Nowhere to go and the ball is loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. And maybe this guy was hoping somebody would bail him out, like a tuck rule or something. <laughs> Not going to be so lucky this time around. Give the defense credit. This pass rush is serious. It's real. And this quarterback is now going to have to play with a clock in his head that's going off just a little bit quicker. He's got to do a better job understanding when to get ready. the give and he'll be stopped for no gain still sitting at the three yard line great job by the defense everybody firing off the ball hitting their guys holding their gaps running to the football nowhere to go the clock has stopped and we've reached the two minute warning before halftime can the defense stop them again on second and goal Off play action. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And when you get closer to this area near the red zone and closer inside the five like you are here, it's tough to throw certain routes, right? Like, you need to throw those slants. You need to throw those fades. Get the ball out of the quarterback's hands really, really quickly because you know you're going to get some pressure from that defense. Third and goal from way back there. Dropping back, it's Soresby. He wants it all. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bearcats. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. Keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off by connecting from ten yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. This drive will start from the 19-yard line. 
complete to the left. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. You love to deliver a punch on the first play of the drive. They've got it at the 46 on first down. He's looking to throw it. With the catch, it's Williamson. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Fox running, second down coming. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Williamson. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed? After he made his break, he was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. First down for the offense. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Pressure's there, and he lets it go. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Yeah, it fell incomplete because he did a great really job of getting to the quarterback. He's in the pocket. Yeah, he's, he's comfortable, but you get in there, and you get a hit on him. Now he feels it. Can't throw the football. Can't follow through with his arm motion. Nice job by the defense. And this one splits the uprights. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Cincinnati. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside the home of Bearcats football since 1902. Here he comes from inside his own five. And now the ball is knocked free. It's recovered by the kicking team, and they get the ball right back. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. That's exactly what happened. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They're testing the right side here. Got some room headed to the goal line. Steps into the end zone for a touchdown. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now.
Getting set for the point after. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. From the gun, the running back has it. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. And it's just simple. Simple first down run. Showing your physicality. Setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Right back to it. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Facing a third down is short from the 26. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Now, a fourth down. And the Bearcats will line up to punt it away. First time today we've seen a punter go to work. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops it. First play of this drive comes from the 35-yard line. They want to run it left here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can work the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Unloads to the wide out. He's open on the right. And he's brought down after a huge completion. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. That kind of play will put a jolt into a drive. It's first and 10 from just inside the 40. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. When you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. This was one of the keys to the game. Could this quarterback, could he extend plays and then make throws in scramble situations? That time, the defense was able to get to him and bring him down for a huge loss. to throw and he needs a bunch going over the top oh he toast the coverage got him deep downfield he's there to make the stop but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven that's a beautiful pass and catch i love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes he froze that safety and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route
They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. He wants to throw here on second down. Unleashes to the end zone. Picked off. Smashes ahead. A really good return after the interception puts them in business at the 29. About the only good thing that happened for the offense on that play, at least it wasn't a pick six. What a return. Yeah, that didn't look good for the offense. You know all those big fellas, those old linemen, they're not going to be able to go make the play. So as the DB getting the interception, you know if you can break that play and you can get past that level, it might, it might be to the house. It might be to the crib. Lucky that wasn't a pick six if you're on offense. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the grab. It's Johnson. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Well, they're able to complete the hitch throw against man coverage. And, hey, the quarterback's got to be able to get it to him quickly because he knows that defender is going to be driving on the ball. So really nice job not hesitating, getting it to him, and then he gets what he can get after the catch. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Got the quick pass. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. The Bearcats have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got a man. It's Warrior. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Got like that big, reliable security guy. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. You know, it's hard enough just to catch passes in college football, but to do it while also being cognizant of where you are in the field and making sure you get a foot down inbounds, that's really impressive. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He caught it! And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. They'll run it. Touchdown, Bearcats! They take the lead with the six. Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. I mean, I'm getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone, that vertical way up in the air. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So that drive covered 29 yards, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run. 
gun from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. We'll see what they can do on this drive that starts at the 16-yard line. Gonna let it fly. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Love the physicality of this secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Another incompletion on third down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. They bring the punter onto the field now. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Slips through the line. Looking for running room. He'll get it to the 43-yard line before he's stuck. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Looking for a crease. It's Kiner. At the 35, he's got room. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. That's the end of the quarter, and Cincinnati is on top. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He unleashes a long one. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. After the incompletion, here comes second and ten from the 32. The give to the tailback. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Now facing a third and long. Back to pass, it's Soresby getting some heat. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there getting the sack. And the Bearcats will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Maybe one notch of adrenaline too much on the punt there. It hits about a yard deep in the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Here's the handoff. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Dumps it to the back. It's on target and complete. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big 
big chunk of yardage is picked up. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. From the gun to give, looking for room. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. They'll leave it with him. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. They've crossed midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. They'll try the run. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that run. Halfway there on first down and second and five. They'll try the right side. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. They'll ride the hot hand. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Well, forget the running game stuff. We'll play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Running back searching for a hole. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing his bat. Already in field goal range, but now trying to convert this third and long from the 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after him. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? in the world. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. And that's massive. All the pressure on your defense now. You've made the field goal. You've got to get the ball back. You need one more kick. That's what you need. And so the defense has to be ready to take the field right now, play with intensity, play with energy, and get it back to the offense quickly. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Mack. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. They'll probably bleed every second possible off this clock before they snap it.
Here's a quick throw out to the left. They make the stop if this passing game does some damage and they move the sticks with the first down. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Running wide open down the gut of the field. Touchdown, Cincinnati! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Now for the extra point try late in the game. And he splits the uprights and pushes the lead to eight here in the fourth. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close it in style with a 72-yard pass to the house. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First snap of this drive will come from their own 17. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Catch in the middle, it's Williamson. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. These wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone, or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays up. Yeah, and at this point in the game, guys, fourth quarter, you're trailing. You know that they're going to be throwing the ball and trying to be aggressive and try to climb back into this one. Couldn't come up with it there on second down. Let's see what happens on third. Trying to pick up a first down. They'll go to the air on third and short. Snags it down the right side. And stampeding through the defense. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets them 30-plus. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. They'll rush to the line. Clock stop for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock. They'll throw it from the red zone. Snags it over the middle. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. First down here for the offense. They'll go to the air. Fires toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Man, what a play by the defender. Thrown into the end zone, he swats it away. When a game's this close, this late, that's a play when we look back on this one that maybe helps win the game for this team. Now on second down after the incompletion. They keep attacking through the air. Throws to the tight end. He's got it. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. And you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. Looking to throw. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. 
he's looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. And this will be caught. Touchdown in the final minute. We're a two-point conversion away from a tie. Wow. Unbelievable. This is crazy. Man, great job by this offense, but the work is not done. You knew what you needed when you started this drive. Late in this ball game, time's running out. It's not on your side. I got to find my play, my best two-point conversion to go tie this puppy up. They got the touchdown, but still a two-point conversion short of tying it up late. Here's the snap, looking to throw. He's got it! The two is good, and we have ourselves a tie game. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. Looking for block. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. So here it is. Plenty of time to go and an opportunity to move the ball down the field and win it, David. Yeah, and you rep this every single week. The two-minute drill, you got to be precise. You know exactly what your favorite plays are, Palmer. You go down the field, get the improvement. And it comes down to the awareness, right? Especially at the quarterback position. You're understanding the timeout situation, working the boundary in the sideline. What's the clock showing me? It all comes down to this. We've got a timeout on the field, and we are set up for a terrific finish. After the first down completion, it's second and short. To the air. It's Soresby. Quick completion on the out route. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. They just can't seem to cover this guy. He keeps getting open, even when he's running out of space on the sideline. Yeah, running out of space, they're still going to feature him. They, they see the matchup, and look at the balance and the coordination and just knowing where I'm out on the field to get the feet inbounds and secure the catch. What a play and what a day for this young man. Hard running there. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. Timeout, Cincinnati. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. The line of scrimmage is the 34. That means a 51-yard field goal attempt with a chance to win the game. Kick is 